Question 14. We have a spring with a spring constant of 100 newtons per meter. The spring has an initial length of 0.07 meters. There's no friction. We know the mass of the disc is one kilogram. It's in uniform circular motion, which means that the angular acceleration is equal to zero. We know that the final length while it's moving in a circle is equal to the initial length plus the displacement from the equilibrium position, or 0.07 plus 0.03. That works out to be 0.1 meters. When you look at this from the side, we need a free body diagram in order to solve this problem. Uh, you can see I've actually drawn the spring in red just so you can see that force of the spring a little bit better. You can see the force of gravity acts on the center of mass and acts straight down. The force normal acts on the surface interaction between the two, the block and the surface, and acts upward. And the force of the spring acts where the spring acts, attaches to the block and is to the left. The first question, the question in 14 is, what is the centripetal force? That is simply the net force in the in direction. So when we sum the forces in the in direction, the only force acting in the in direction is the force of the spring. So that force of the spring is what we're looking for. That is the answer to the question, the centripetal force. So we substitute in the equation for the force of the spring, the magnitude of it, the spring constant times the displacement from the equilibrium position. And we get that the net force in the in direction, the centripetal force is 100 times 0 0.03 or 3 newtons. The correct answer is B. Now, I know the equation for the force of the spring is the force of the spring equals negative kx. However, We've already identified the direction when we drew the free body diagram and summed the forces. And this negative in your equation for the force of spring has to do with the direction. So we're not gonna put that in again. So you just use the magnitude of the equation again because you've already used the direction by, uh, by summing the forces in the in direction and your free body diagram.